so Jesus died where do you think he went to he could not have gone to heaven because anybody carrying the nature of sin cannot go to heaven in fact anyone who has not been redeemed cannot go to heaven and until Jesus came there was nobody who had enjoyed the blessings of redemption to go to heaven otherwise the Bible would never call him the firstborn among the begotten he had to be the person to lead that way are we together now so Jesus went to hell my apologies I don't know what is um, affecting the whole projection but let me read Hebrews chapter 2 let me use my Hebrews chapter 2 from verse 14 Hebrews 2 14 I'll read it just listen for as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood this is verse 14 now Hebrews 2 14 he also himself likewise took part of the same took part of the same means he became in their form spiritually now that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death that is the devil and deliver them 15 now who through fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage so all that Jesus did was so that he will finally go to the place of the dead the realm of the spirit and correct something that happened between Satan and the first man let's see what happened now so the gate that opens up the physical realm to the spiritual realm open for Jesus and the Bible says my God Paul was such an intelligent man this was how this guy just sat down home and he was just watching it like a video and now began to write it you know what happened the Bible says when Jesus was going to go and join all those who had gone before him now while he went there he was in hell and something began to happen seriously there Satan was shocked to find out that although Jesus was there he now tried to force him to bow listen carefully bowing talks of acknowledging authority are we together now yes Jesus now went in the strength of man Adam and all the cohorts of hell were forcing him to bow to the authority of Satan Paul said that he made a public show of them now hold on let me explain to you what that means remember Jesus said in the day you eat it you shall surely die that means God's word should not fall to the ground every man should die do you know what that means it doesn't mean to stop living physically it means there is no possibility for man to be connected to him again so Jesus now comes representing the entire creation in that covenant and went through the punishment that man should go through and the Bible says he shall see the travail of his soul this was a revelation given to Isaiah the prophet that he shall see the travail of his soul and he shall be satisfied according to the teachings of great men like E.W. Kenyon he now says when the legal claims of justice was now paid for you see that now the father's heart was satisfied Jesus made a public show of them he says triumphing over them in it now the final battle he goes to Satan who the Bible called the God of this world who had collected the keys of dominion from Adam through deception and Jesus collected that key and Apostle Peter teaches us that he now went somewhere that is called the bosom of Abraham because the, the bosom of Abraham is not heaven oh I hope you know that there's no such place called the bosom of Abraham in heaven mm -mm. there is a throne the Bible describes about 12 or 13 things that we know and see in heaven the bosom of Abraham is not there 
apostle peter said jesus went there and preached the gospel to them and they believed what was the gospel listen i'm here with you now remember the promise he made to you through abraham that in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed he was not talking of money he was saying abraham because of your covenant the jewish nation will come out and jesus will come out of that nation and whoever believes just like you believe it will be credited to him for righteousness that promise i have come do you believe they said we believe they come follow me and that was how they started going out it's in your bible it's in your bible after the defeat that happened in hell jesus led captivity john give me ephesians my spirit is fired up ah, yeah. ephesians 4 ephesians 4 let's start from verse 18. ephesians chapter 4 did i get that right ephesians 4 from verse um he led captivity captive help me look for it for us media you should be helping me as i'm preaching ephesians let me pull it up he led captivity captive and he gave gift unto men verse 8 thank you ephesians 4 and verse 8 wherefore saith he when he ascended up on high he did what he led captivity captive in fact let's go to verse 6 let's start from there one god one father of all who is above all and through all and in you all now verse 7 pay attention he says but unto everyone is given grace according to the measure of the gift of christ uh-huh wherefore he said when he ascended on high he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men verse 9 powerful information now now he that ascended but what is it that he also descended first to the what lower parts of the earth so jesus went there he's describing it now verse 10 and he descended and then when he was done he now came to the earth he ascended to finish his high priestly duty and then he came to charge the disciples this is the protocol that's what happened so he came out and the bible your bible says that when jesus was done now the issue of sin death the grave hell was about to be do you know that if jesus did not resurrect that means that number one death still had power because the last enemy to be destroyed is death and that also means that he's not exerted power over death over satan it means that he was trapped in hell so the bible says on the third day let me hurry up by the authority of the father resurrection when he resurrected first the bible did not say he resurrected alone the departed saints that they resurrected with him and walked around the streets of jerusalem and all men saw them are we together now all men saw them now when jesus resurrected i'm hurrying up because of time the bible tells us that mary saw him and she wanted to come and touch him she said rabboni he said don't touch me that means i'm not yet done with my i just came out of the grave but there is something i need to settle he now went to heaven paul was shown this when he taught the hebrew church that jesus now went to heaven he was no longer a savior in heaven he was a high priest and the lamb he carried his blood into that tabernacle are we together i've taught you and now poured that blood upon the altar to atone for the sin of man once and for all the moment he finished listen carefully the moment he finished triumphantly a coronation service was held in heaven for him the lord said to my lord sit down at my right hand until i make your enemies your footstool philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 now let this mind be in you please give it to us 
which was also in Christ Jesus verse 6 it says that although being in the form of God taught it not robbery to be equal with God but for your sake and my sake verse 7 he made himself of no reputation took upon himself the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men verse 8 and being found in fashion as a man he humbled himself and became what obedient to death think about it obedient not obedient to the father obedient to death is another word of saying he became sin because whoever has that nature of sin is a slave to death he became obedient to death even the death on the cross verse 9 wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every other name at the resurrection of Jesus watch this now a coronation service was held for him and when that coronation service was held that was when he was given the name Lord L O R D now but the advantage is that he was not Lord alone he was not king alone remember our communion mystery that everything he was doing you were doing it in him that's the part Satan did not know because if all of us were to be saved every one of us will have to do what Jesus did for ourselves and Jesus went through all that and when he resurrected by the glory of the Father satan was surprised because he found out now listen carefully he found out that there was a possibility that had come from the resurrection that man would not be able to have what was that possibility that because jesus rose again man is not only saved but man also will rise like him not just spiritually first like arising from the dead but that physically every time you receive eternal life into your spirit there are many things that you receive number one is the life of God 